you know, we in Dallas. And, uh, you know, after the after the movement of the boogie movement, we entered a new era, which is kind of considered the trap era of Dallas. Yeah. Where you have likes of uh, Trap Boy, Yellow Beezy, Mo3. Yeah. Mo3 being out of North Dallas. What are your thoughts as far as, you know, this again, your first time here, when you see a rise of a situation like a Mo3? And be honest as far as what yeah, you I'm, thought. Look, what did you think that was as far as what would you what you had to do with getting him to where he needs to go? My thought process was real life. You know, we in Dallas. And uh, you know, after the after the movement of the boogie movement, we entered a new era, which is kind of considered the trap era of Dallas. Yeah. Where you have likes of uh Trap Boy, Yellow Beezy, Mo3. Yeah. Mo3 being out of North Dallas. Yeah. Um, I know Spain, you was going through your situation at the time and shit, but Will, you was outside. Yes. Um, what are your thoughts as far as, you know, this again, your first time here, when you see a rise of a situation like a Mo3? And be honest as far as what yeah, you I'm, thought. Look, what did you think that was as far as what would you what you had to do with getting him to where he needs to go? My thought process was that nigga ripping it now, so I'm with it. You know what I'm saying? But what I wasn't gonna do was go on no platform or to no people and lie about any situation. And that's why I always stood. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell the truth. And you know, my truth may be different than the next nigga truth, but this is my truth. So I'm gonna stand on that. And that's that was my thought process. So, and Spain, you can speak on this again. I, I want your thoughts. When a nigga come from another side of the of the city, uh, you know, like let's just say McKinney, and he comes, yeah, let's just say McKinney, and then they come to Dallas at a young age and get his grind on, a lot of niggas was not with the shit. A lot of niggas was like, you was a boy, you didn't go to elementary here. Man, that, you, shit, I mean, was, I, that it, shit was bullshit. Yeah, it was, tell me your bullshit. I came here from New Orleans. A lot of niggas, a lot of niggas wasn't really day one from the north. Ain't too many like that. It's it only a few. Loud, right? <laughs> yeah, so. A lot of niggas ain't from that home. If the nigga really, hey, ain't gonna lie to me. Not from that home. See, to me, I ain't know all the little inside shit. Yeah. I'm just looking on the outside. If he repping, he repping the north, he repping the lane. Rapping. And he out here really stepping, ain't letting nobody home. He rep that shit. Come yeah. motherfuckers see me, be talking to me now, I'll be like, damn, you you from four lane, you know, Mo3. And I'll be like, damn, he took that hood, he took the north nationwide. But so I don't know what he was doing but in, but in between. So, so I, I can't speak on all that. I just speak on what I seen from the outside. Airport. You know what I'm saying? No, so like me, when I was in jail, I'm repping that shit all day. You know what I'm saying? Biggest facts. All right, now, uh, we're, so this is a question from Rook. And again, I, I got to shout out Rook. He's not here. Yeah, shout out but my you, nigga you, Rook, you know, Shout out Rook in the building. But, hey, you know, we were supposed to do this interview, like, uh, damn near a month ago. Yeah. Uh, a situation went down damn near New Year's Eve. Yeah. To where I'm like, Will can't make it because yeah. Will might have got shot. Yeah. Shit, man. And we was all fucked up. We like, what? Yeah. Like, nigga, let's do this. What? What? What the fuck was that situation in which, can you speak on it, my nigga, if man, anything? you know, we still playing around out here, so I can't just say, I can't say too much. You know, okay. I really don't want to say nothing at all. You know, we still active. But, yeah, some bullshit. You know what I mean? Nothing to a giant. 